and now representing the District Attorney's Office, Paul Henderson, Chief Administrative Officer. Thank you. So thank you all for having us out here. Uh, I'm here on behalf of the San Francisco District Attorney's Office and Kamala Harris, my boss. Uh, we wanted me to make sure that we acknowledge uh, the significance, not just of today's events, but of the partnership that today's events represents. Uh, the partnership with SubSafe and our communities, our partnership with the police department uh, and the supervisor's office, all working together. One of the things that we talked about earlier was the reduction in how Years ago, a lot of the extortion cases and a lot of the fraud cases were flourishing in this very community, and a lot of that has been reduced now. Uh, and hopefully, we're going to continue reducing those cases. Uh, part of that reduction is due to the convictions uh, that we've had for some of these cases. And the reason that that's important is because the convictions are based on a partnership. Uh, and it goes beyond just the police having to be responsible for arresting people uh, engaged in fraud and extortion. Uh, it really involves communities. And so one of the messages that I want to leave with everyone is to take it personally and to follow up, to contact the police, to contact the district attorney's office when they are aware of fraud and extortion going on in their neighborhoods and other crimes um, so that we can all work together to continue that. Uh, I talked to Kamala before I came here and I asked her if there was anything she wanted me to share in particular. And she said, well, make sure uh, you say something in Chinese too. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Gung Hei Pai Choi. There we go. That's my contribution for the thing. So thank you all for coming out. It's a pleasure to be here. We look forward to working with all of you in the future. Have a great afternoon. Here we go. Thanks. Uh, from the California Department of Corrections Adult Parole, Robert Ambrozelli. Thank you very much. Actually, the weather's holding out, so I'll make my speech really quick. Uh, we really appreciate, on behalf, actually on the behalf of the Secretary of the Department of Corrections, I'd like to uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today. Our division uh, has partnered up uh, with uh, both San Francisco Police Department and a number of folks that have made this campaign successful for the last 10 years. But it's not just our parole agents uh, that are out informing uh, merchants uh, and residents here about uh, the perils of uh, what can possibly happen, but it's also our parolees that are here today uh, behind me uh, contributing uh, and uh, making sure that they pay back to this community. It's important, uh, and they're here representing uh, themselves in a process uh, where they're trying to help the community out as well. Our division's mission uh, relates to public safety uh, and reintegration, and uh, our mission today is, uh, is fulfilling itself with uh, those folks paying back uh, their debt to society. We really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, I'd like to pay special attention to Supervisor Ken Wong, who's done a fantastic job uh, of uh, uh, modeling the way for our agents, and uh, I'm extremely proud of our staff, and uh, I'm very happy uh, to have an opportunity to be here with everybody today. Uh, thank you very much. I'd also like to uh, take this time to acknowledge uh, a representative from Fiona Ma's office, Francisco Shea. And I'd like to acknowledge some of our other supporters and partners uh, in uh, our education efforts of fighting crime. First, our co-sponsor and safety nonprofit, San Francisco Safe, members of the Board of Supervisors, the San Francisco Police Commission, the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Services, the Mayor's Office of Criminal Justice, the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, the Community Youth Center, the American Red Cross Youth for Elderly Bay Area Chapter, and of course, all the men and women of the San Francisco Police Department. We will be distributing 3,500 crime prevention packets throughout the city in the next few days by teams of volunteers and police officers from each district. And now, I would like to invite all of you to be our guest and join, join Chief Jeff Gascon and all of us to distribute safety packets along Grant Avenue. Thank you so much for attending today. Gan hei fat choi to everybody. Thank you.